The Henry Royce project is a 16,000 square metre mixed-use building with labs and offices for the University of Manchester. It's one of 10 hub buildings for the Royce across the nation and this is the headquarters. We're succeeding here by working as one team using Select, Expanded, Crown House, the Lango Rourke Group, our geotechnical and piling partners to unlock tight, logistically constrained city centre sites using everything that the business has got to offer. And it's worked. It's worked seamlessly, but it's a testament to all the upfront planning advice that we've done over an 18 month pre construction services agreement and maintaining a team that's consistent from bid through to delivery. This project is a unique project, not only just for Langerock Group, but also for Crown House Technologies. The service strategy enabled us to develop the mega riser structure, but this is only one part of the project. The whole research facility has been based on giving maximum flexibility for the occupants of the building. As part of the mega riser structure, this is the largest section that we've ever produced in Crown House's old brick manufacturing facility. The riser is circa 150 tonne in weight, split over five sections as a floor plan. Each piece has been bespokely modelled. Due to the size and the sheer weight of it, it has to be embedded from day one with the rest of the building envelope. Once we were sure in terms of logistics and transport, spatial planning and spatial constraints on site in terms of the lift, we then put it into manufacture 16 weeks before the product was due to for installation. So it's a just-in-time delivery, it's a just-sequenced event. Realising that we couldn't manufacture the riser on site and actually it would give us some logistical benefit to unlock this difficult site, we chose therefore to build it off site and bring it in over transport. We also realised that doing this approach that we'd have weather ingress into the building so we've built a temporary roof over the top and the phasing of temporary roofs, riser fit outs is critical. If you look at the way we've had to lift some of the pieces and the weight restrictions on the cranes, we've had to manoeuvre it from one side of the site to the opposite so then we can upend the riser to lift it back in. So there's been a lot of thought and preparation, especially around a constrained site. Ordinarily, a riser of this scale and complexity would take circa 18 weeks to install. We will install this section within seven days. 